looked at the water running down your street during a heavy rain and wondered, if I remove some of those leaves and twigs, could I drink that? Well, hopefully you've at least never tried that, because as it turns out, stormwater contains more chemical pollution than treated wastewater. And the reason for that is we don't design stormwater systems to remove pollutants, like fertilizers, pesticides, or anything else washing off our urban landscape. We design them to control where the water goes and prevent flooding. But when these chemicals pass through our stormwater systems and into surface waters, they can negatively impact aquatic ecosystems, reducing biodiversity and even killing birds and fish. Nature-inspired stormwater infrastructure, or green stormwater infrastructure, is a newer type of stormwater infrastructure that incorporates vegetation and provides a multitude of benefits over traditional systems. You've probably seen examples of this, like rain gardens or green roofs, even on your walk to hunt today. We're surrounded by it on Centennial Campus. Green stormwater infrastructure can remove some types of pollutants, especially those that associate with sediment that gets filtered out as the water drains. But water-loving pollutants, like pesticides, remain dissolved and just flush right through the system. We need to prevent flooding and keep these natural benefits of green stormwater infrastructure, but we also need to improve stormwater quality. My dissertation research is focused on a nature-based solution to this problem using fungus to remove pesticides in a rain garden setting. Mushrooms are magic. We are evaluating whether this fungus can be incorporated into rain garden soil to improve pesticide removal. Now, this particular fungus grows naturally on wood, which makes it easy to incorporate into the rain garden soil as a mulch. As the fungus consumes the wood, it actually excretes enzymes outside of itself. These enzymes are then able to degrade a variety of organic contaminants, including pesticides. We found that our fungus was able to remove more than 50% of our target pesticide in the amount of time that would be experienced in one of North Carolina's rain gardens. And not only did it remove it, but it actually broke it down into less harmful compounds. Uh, next, we plan to incorporate microorganisms to see how the fungus handles that competition and grow it under wet and dry soil conditions similar to what you would see in a rain garden. By harnessing the magic of mushrooms, we can prevent this chemical pollution from ever reaching our rivers and streams. Thank you.